It is incredibly important to have an art space to work in that you absolutely love. In my old house, I had two eight foot tables in an L shape and it gave me all the room I needed. So when we moved to the new house, I knew I wanted one of those eight foot tables and they're just plastic and I wanted them to look nice. So I took the contact paper, you can see half in that picture right there, and just covered it with a wood grain contact paper. And I chose that light color on purpose. I really liked light bright colors, but after I worked on it a couple of weeks, months, a year, I ended up not liking it so much. It just didn't inspire me to do more art. So not only that, but I also ended up with a pretty messy art space. You can see in this video here that this is right after my try it, my buy it, try it video, and I'll link that up in the iCard. So everything's still out on the desk. And if you walked into this space, would you feel inspired to do art? Not so much, I don't think. So I needed to clean that mess up and move on to getting the space, the colors I like, the feel that I like, and just see what happens. And I'll talk about this a little bit more in a bit, but you have to clean up your art space every night, in my opinion. You have to be ready to go the next morning with a nice clean workspace. So I am starting out by putting all of that buy it, try it stuff away, which was significant. There was a lot of stuff in there. Definitely check out that video if you haven't. Plus my son had all of his little acrylic paintings out on my orbital easel there. So I put those all in one place. I dusted them off because they'd been sitting there since before Christmas and put them away and just emptied this table off so that I could redo it. And I simply bought just another contact paper and it doesn't stick the best, but I like it. It's super easy to use. What I didn't realize when I bought it was that it was a lot shorter roll than the previous rolls that I had bought. So it didn't actually cover the full desk. I guess it's a table, but I call it an art desk. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I couldn't quite finish this project because I only bought two rolls and it didn't go clear down to the end. So I stopped in the middle, ordered some more and finish it up. And I do finish it up in this video. So stay tuned. You'll be able to see how it looks when it's over. My cat, she was joining me. Now this is everything I have behind the table and I'll show this a little bit at a better angle a little bit later in the video. So this is all stuffed under the desk and you can see how the contact paper, the new contact paper really looks nice on that table. It's just a slightly different wood grain and it's just slightly different enough that I really like it. So here I'm just pointing out all my undone subscription boxes, giveaway box, all the canvases and stuff I have under there. Now this, this is really important. I had jars of brushes and pencils on top of my desk and I just bought these little planter boxes. I took out the draining thing that's inside of them and screwed them to the wall and put all my brushes inside of those. Now my oil brushes are really long and so they tipped over one of them and all I did was put some heavy marbles or they're like fish rocks or something in it to keep it from tipping over and it got them off the surface of my desk and now every day that I sit down on the desk there's nothing significant on the surface of the desk so if I need to dust it off wipe it off whatever I need to do it's really easy because those are lifted off the surface and she's helping again she's my supervisor <laughs> Anyway, behind my art desk is our TV. So I bought this divider from Amazon and just put it there so that if I do need to video, I have that as the background instead. So finally, I received the rest of the contact paper I ordered. And I'll go ahead and finish up the desk here because I could just leave it like that. The place where I video is right in that place right in front of the window. And so no one would ever know that it was not there except I would know and I don't like it. I don't like it unfinished. I don't like it half one color, half the other. I don't like that the front was still the light color. So I needed to finish it. It was for my sanity. And that dresser you see there to the right is where I keep a lot of my art supplies and it's actually kind of over full and some of the bottoms are kind of falling out, but I have to fix that. This thing here, I have to look at the back of it every single day that I sit down in my art room. And so I decided to take all my leftover contact paper and just cover up that really ugly back. And of course I had another kitty helper there. I really like it. I think it turned out great. It was a bunch of pieces of the scraps there at the very end, but it's down at the bottom behind my oil painting bin and no one will ever know. So, And this contact paper, by the way, overlaps really nicely. You don't even notice the seams unless you actually can feel them. So, all right, so there's my art desk. 
And here is everything I have under my art desk. Hello, dog. And I'm hoping to get through all of these art subscription boxes sometime this century. And I want to put a shelf unit down there. So that's what I'm going to be doing is assembling some shelf units that I measured. And hopefully they're going to fit here like I expect them to. So I picked up these little shelf units from Amazon, of course. They were $30 each, give or take a dollar or two. And I didn't expect much from them. I thought they'd be kind of crappy, but I really like them. I like them a lot. You have three open shelves at the top and three with little, oh, what are they, like fabric bins inside of them that you can use or not. And in this first one, I didn't use the fabric bins because I had enough subscription boxes to fit in there and they are not going to fit inside those bins. But you can see I get the back on and I leave the two bins open on that right side because I have that power outlet you can see in the video there. So I can access that through the back of that by leaving that open. So it was really handy that the backs of these came in three different pieces because it worked out great. So I'll link those below. They're really neat. Definitely worth the money for 30 bucks. And I didn't video putting the second one together, but you can see that it's together. It took me like five minutes to put that second one together. It was nothing. So super nice. And then trying to stuff all my stuff back under and I don't quite finish it all in this video, but I actually found a place for every single thing I had under there. And I still have, I think one or two of those fabric bins is empty. Here it is all finished. And I wanted to leave the window open this time so you could see the light I usually work with plus these two on the side, which makes the lighting in the camera a bit weird, but that's okay. So how much more enjoyable it is to come in and work on a clean workspace every single day. It's so important. And I still have a few things from my smart art box that I just did on Friday. I'll link that up in the corner for you to clean up. But I wanted to go ahead and finish them up, their mats, and get some frames and finish this up before I put them completely away. But I like this color better on the tabletop. And just coming in, making sure this is clean like this every single day when I leave is really important to my productivity. And here's underneath the desk now, and it's really nicely organized and just makes me feel better. And I have this box out because I had to use some odorless mineral spirits out of it, so it's open now and I wanted to keep it upright, so it's staying upright like that. So my question to you is, would you rather work in this cluttered space and then you leave that for yourself the next day, plus you don't really like the colors of it, or would you like to make your art room something really cool into this and walk into this every day where you have a nice clean open space to work every single day without fail so that's super important to keep that a priority i am so grateful that you spent the time with me today that you did make sure you hit a like on this video if you found it interesting or useful at all and check out my other videos on this channel and if you think you might be interested in them definitely hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell for all notifications otherwise youtube will only tell you once in a blue moon when i upload which is every tuesday and friday Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.